Hello YouTube, it's Russell Steele here. Now I'm just going to make this more basic video on what I am bringing to the camping trip. Now, before I get into what I'm bringing, I'm just going to show you, you know, what the environment, where we're going, and, you know, what we're staying in, all that kind of stuff. So, the where we're going is Lake Jocassee, South Carolina. We've been going there for years and years on end. It's awesome. We love Lake Jocassee. It's got many waterfalls, bridges, um, rocks and stuff. If you know anything about Lake Jocassee, South Carolina, you would know that it's a man-made lake and that, you know, this lake got formed out of a valley called Jocassee Valley. You also know that Kiwi is also a man-made lake, but we go to Jocassee and stuff, so yeah, we love going to Lake Jocassee. We also have a pontoon boat that we bring every year because to get to the campsite, we have to, you know, take our pontoon boat. It's actually, I think, one of my... I think it's my grandpa's or, you know, it's my dad's side of the family's dad pontoon boat, if that clears everything up. And we've been using that for years, so, yeah, it's a pretty good boat. It is old and stuff, but you can see it a lot more up close when you actually see the video of me camping stuff. I'll definitely go over it and stuff. So, yeah, we also have um, my uncle and my two cousins that come along with me and my dad, so... That's the whole family that comes in. Um, I have my the uncle. Um, I have my uncle Jeff, as I call him, because I think that's his first. I think that's his first name. Um, and my one of my cousins' name. I think he's around eleven or so. Is Garrison, and then I think around Lauren's age or something. Lucas. So they're both obsessed about sports, and I'm not. But you know, we all have fun and stuff. So. Yeah, that's just basically in the environment. The camping spot we got this year is pretty small. It's jam-packed, and there's only one camping site in the entire lake for some reason. So, <laughs> yeah, that's just how it is. So, you know, I'm not really judging that. So, we only get one day, one full day, two nights. We normally stay three nights instead of two nights, but it's jam-packed. We have no choice unless we go later or a different time, which we don't really want to do. So, yeah, we're just staying one one day one full day, but that's enough to go to everything we want to do, because we did that last year. We did stay three nights last year, but one of the entire days was spent at the football game, if you watch one of my previous videos and stuff. Yeah, enough of this rambling. Let's see what I am bringing. Okay, to start us off, I am bringing my iPod Touch 4th generation, not only because it has 64 gigs of storage and I can store media on there, but also because it has, I have a, you know, microphone on it, and it can be used as an external audio recording device so I can get better audio and stuff for many things. I have plans to use this for audio recording because I have a voice recorder um, app downloaded on it, so I can use this for some external audio recording, which is going to be very helpful, especially in more of a wide, a, a wide array of you know, recording stuff, getting good audio is crucial to a good video. I also am bringing my Nikon D3300. Again, I said I'm going to use this more sparingly because of the charging and stuff. I am still bringing the charger just in case I ever get an opportunity to charge it, as well as my microphone and stuff. This is going to be to get more sh shots that need the extra resolution or the extra quality. This will definitely be used for some more photo work because, you know, it's obviously a DSLR for photo camera. My iPod takes decent photos, but this is really what's going to be more of my main photo camera. But when I need to get more better cinematic video and stuff, I will use this. It does have awesome battery life, so I don't really have too much of a problem with it, and we are staying for like one day. I also have my Joby Gorillapod video. Um, this is actually a really versatile, awesome tripod. As you can see, the legs are like spider legs, basically. You can bend them and twist them and everything, so you can mount it on lots of things. And the main thing with this, which will help me a lot to get cinematic, nice shots. And this was definitely going to help because it has a fluid head on top of it. Um, fluid pan and tilt head. So it also has a quick release plate. Also, you just need a coin to screw on the iPhone mount and stuff. So yes, this will be very helpful to get cinematic shots, even on location. Definitely am going to use this like crazy. So yeah, also have my selfie stick, as you know, for more steady shots, as well as the strap. Pretty basic stuff. I also have my charging cable. This is the only one I'm going to bring. I don't need that many. Um, just I just need to charge my iPod 6 with it. I'm also bringing the charging cable and adapter for my iPod 4th gen as well, since it has much worse battery life than this one. Also, I have two external batteries for my USB devices. 
And this one right here, this is called the pocket juice or something. It's just called pocket juice. It has a flashlight on it as well, as you can see, which is, as you can see, very helpful when you're camping and stuff. It also has a level to show how much juice it has in it. Now, this is my better battery. It has 4,000 milliamp hours of capacity. This one's a lot more basic. No flashlight, just the indicator light and the USB stuff. This is 2560 milliamp hours in capacity. So, in total, I have, I have um, 6,600 milliamp hours with these two batteries combined. For flashlights and stuff, um, I have my iPod flashlight built into my iPod, the battery's flashlight, and these two. This is my headlamp. This is a it's called fuel for some reason, but it gets pretty darn bright, or it flashes as well. This, I am going to love using this. This is actually really helpful while hiking at night, like if I'm hiking out to the outhouse or the bathroom or something, I really don't want to go over how horrible that experience is. I can use this to guide my way. I love using this thing except, um, you know, besides a traditional flashlight, because just sticks to your head. Also, I have a lantern slash flashlight that folds in and folds out with some handles on top to mount it to things. This will definitely be a cool tent item. So it's either a flashlight or, I mean, a lantern in this case, or a flashlight. So incredibly versatile. It also takes standard AA batteries. This takes AAA batteries. Now, somewhere, I do think, charging right over there off camera, I have four rechargeable AA batteries from Energizer, and they're ba and I'm charging them right now, so I can you know mount it in many things like my shotgun mic. As you can see, four it takes specifically four AA batteries, so perfect if I need a replacement while I am there, since I am going to be using this a lot more than I normally do. If I can ever get this back on, that would be awesome. All right. I'm just going to keep this on for the rest of the video. I really don't care. I also have a couple of extra cables over here for all the stuff. I have three um, micro USB cables, one long, one medium, one extra, extra short. So that's also helpful. I also have my wide-angle lens for my iPod or any you know mobile device. Now, I'm going to use this more sparingly, and the reason is because when I have this on, it muffles the microphone, so the audio is total crap, unless I have some kind of external mic. And that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Um, I will use this when I need wider-angle shots, and I don't need the best audio. I don't need the audio in the video unless I'm using some kind of external mic. Um, but this will be more sparingly for stuff like cinematic shots when it was cool to have a macro lens slash wide angle. Yeah, but for normal video recording, when I can use the built-in mic on my iPod, which is pretty darn good, I won't use that. I don't need it, but it's helpful when I need better shots and stuff. I also have this Apple EarPod standard. This is the kind of headphones I'm going to bring. I'm not going to bring my Skull Candy wireless Bluetooth ones over there, just because they're kind of big and heavy for what I need. So... Not only will I use this for listening to music and stuff, but also these ha this has a microphone in it, so I can plug it in to the side of my iPod. In fact, I'm using a different pair of Apple EarPods to get better audio right there, right now. Right now, I'm not using the internal mic. And this is going to be helpful if I'm having shots like this where my iPod's a fair bit away, but I don't want to use this to record the audio because syncing in post is a pain. I mean, it's worth it in the end when you get better audio, but it's a pain, so I can use this to get better audio while this is plugged in it's off camera so I can have it down on the floor right here while I am recording if I'm using something like my tripod to film so yes very helpful I also have my audio pod Bluetooth speaker charging right there in an adapter so I can get you know cool music and stuff whenever we need it and stuff yeah I will you know have b-roll for that um, I also have I also am bringing two other cameras I'm bringing my older Kodak Kodak um, Sport, Kodak Easy Share Z612. This is just a three meter underwater camera. It works well enough underwater. I really, I really am thinking about getting a GoPro Hero to replace this thing, or something like that. You know, the cheap one hundred dollar GoPro Hero. I might get that to replace this thing, because I would love to have myself a GoPro, honestly. Uh, but this will be helpful when I need a camera that's a little bit more rugged than other cameras and I just need to mount it somewhere. 
I do have some, you know, more amateur ideas to do that with using an old tripod mount and stuff to mount it or something like that. But I'll figure that out when I am there. I also am bringing my Sony HDR 6040 for two very good reasons. One, it charges off a USB, so no pain to charge it. But also, this is perfect. This is perfect for recording long periods of time. Recording at long periods of time, it can record, I think, around three hours straight of video. I can check right now, but you know, it doesn't have that great of image quality. If you've seen this thing being used, the image quality is kind of pixely. The sensor in this thing is incredibly tiny. Um, but yeah, right now it's saying I can record 2 hours and 24 minutes of video straight to this thing. So that'll be extremely helpful when I need long periods of time recording. If I just need a camera to get a shot and it needs to stay there, absolutely perfect. Can't go wrong. So... Yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's a little bit long and lengthy and somewhat boring. But also, just wanted to show you what I'm bringing. Also, I'm bringing, you know, bags and stuff. There you go, Swiss gear backpack right there. For to carry everything. So I just wanted to show you what I am bringing. Because it's a little bit out of the ordinary what I am bringing and stuff. So, yeah. I'm also bringing my 6th gen iPod over there, obviously. So, yeah. I'm not bringing any sort of laptop or anything. So... Managing data will be a little bit harder, and obviously I'll have no Wi-Fi, or at least very little Wi-Fi, if I use my dad's phone or anything and get the signal off of his for, you know, a little bit of time. But definitely will not have con in contact with my viewers, so about three, two to three days without you guys. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be coming back on Saturday. I am leaving tomorrow morning at noon, so don't worry, a big, awesome video will be coming at the end. So, for a reward of you guys' patience. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one, or in this case, in about three days. So, yeah, see you guys later.